question in this video what happens when you have a hundred sorry a 17 kilohertz generator and that generator sends its energy back into the power supply it's my third or fourth experiment to make a kind of uh, ultra sound water bath and here you see how that was made a glass jar 200 turns, 0.4 millimeters enameled copper wire around it. A capacitor here of 470 picofarad that bridges that coil, so we have a tank circuit, and then only one high voltage transistor that drives um, the frequency into the coil. Frequency approximately 20 kilohertz, and here you see the signal that's driven into the coil. So, a signal with many peaks, quite strong. And by the way, this is the schematic. Uh, the glass jar. The tank circuit with 200 windings, 470 picofarad capacitor, the typical high voltage NPN transistor that can handle a lot of voltage and also quite a high current, driven via a 1 microfarad capacitor connected to the square wave oscillator that gives out 1 volt. Uh, important warning when you want to make this circuit, uh, don't uh, damage your oscilloscope. You can see here that I've mounted a parallel to the tank circuit a 10 mega ohm resistor and a 100 ohm resistor. So the voltage that the tank circuit gives out is, because this is a voltage divider, uh, extremely lowered uh, and we sent into the coil one ten millionth of the voltage that into the sorry into the oscilloscope entrance uh, one ten millionth of the volt high voltage that's generated here inside the tank circuit be careful never connect your oscilloscope to a high voltage coil it will be dead within a fraction of um, time here the transistor again, here the waveform, here the frequency and it's interesting to show that my power supply cannot handle this problem. And I mean, and I mean that uh, we don't see here any DC out while at the same time I'm sure I've set this knob to 40 volts. We also don't see a DC output current any longer to that oscillator, but we see a AC current. And so peculiar effects uh, on in some way there's uh, or it's traced back, the oscillator strays back, or it really takes AC out of the DC voltage source anyway, I don't know. Takes much more study to see what really happens here. But I only wanted to show the effect of a high um, frequency voltage, high frequency current straying back to the power supply. Here we have the glass jar and we know for sure that at the moment we send in a high frequency of approximately 20 kilohertz but there's no effect inside that uh, jar. So anyway, more or less a failed circuit. Uh, but, but it is an in interesting experiment. And perhaps I'm going on with these experiments uh, to make a high frequency oscillator that shows uh, an effect on substances that are present in the glass jar, in the water, etc. 
and it was very peculiar. I found that the best results were given with only one high voltage transistor. That was driven by a one volt, a one volt square wave. The Darlington did not function better, it even functioned worse. So when you want to do such an experiment to send a high frequency uh, into a glass jar, this could be, a, could be the right circuit. The glass jar has a diameter of 6.5 centimeters and 200 turns.